Hello there once again and welcome to another session on descriptive writing. I'm sure you watched our previous lesson on describing pictures and you have some idea of descriptive writing. As a recap, what is descriptive writing? Descriptive writing is used by writers to create an image in the listener's or the reader's mind. In your exam paper, you will get different types of tasks related to descriptive writing. You may get to match pictures of places with descriptions or information with content for five marks, write sentences based on pictures for five marks, fill in the blanks for five marks, read a text and fill in the blanks for seven marks, or you might have to write a description for 10 marks based on a chart, table or graph. In this lesson, you will be learning about the different ways in which you can describe and present your analysis on charts, graphs and tables. Learning to describe graphs and charts are important because later on in life, you can use your analysis on graphs and charts when giving a presentation. This kind of visual content helps your audience understand things better. Knowing how to describe graphs or charts will especially be useful if you plan to do your IELTS too. Data can be presented in many ways. The four main types of graphs are a bar graph or bar chart, line graph, pie chart and diagram. Bar graphs are used to show the relationship between different data. The height or length of the bar indicates the measured value or frequency. Bar graphs are perfect for presenting a widespread visual or statistical data. So how do we describe a bar graph? Bar graphs transform the data into separate bars or columns. Generally, this type of visual has categories on the x-axis and the numbers on the y-axis. So, you can compare statistical data between different groups. The bar graphs show which category is the largest and which is the smallest one. Each group should be independent so that the changes in one do not influence the others. The bars or columns can be drawn either vertically or horizontally as it doesn't make any difference. Line graphs represent how data has changed over time. This type of chart is especially useful when you want to demonstrate trends or numbers that are connected. For example, how sales vary within a year. Now let's see how we can describe line graphs. This type of chart converts information into points on a grid that is connected with a line to represent trends, changes, or relationships between objects, numbers, dates, etc. These lines show movement over time affected by the increase or decrease in the key factors. To express the movement of the lines, you should use the correct verbs, adjectives and adverbs depending on the kind of action you want to show. You can use these verbs to describe your line chart. Rise increase, grow, climb, decline, drop, reduce, remain, stable, maintain the same level, crash, collapse. You can also use adjectives like sharp, rapid, huge, significant, slight, small for emphasis. And adverbs can be used additionally for effect. Let's look at some adverbs that can be used in your description. Dramatically, rapidly, sharply, considerably, minimally, significantly. Now let's look at pie charts. Pie charts are designed to visualize how a whole is divided into various parts. The chart looks like a pie and that is how it got its name. The pie chart is used to illustrate how different parts come together to make a whole. When describing a pie chart, you can use these words. To 
compare, compare to, as opposed to, more than, the majority of, less than, and greater than. Remember, each segment of the pie is a particular category within the total data set. In this way, it represents a percentage. A diagram is a plan, a drawing, or an outline created to illustrate how separate parts work and overlap at the connecting points. Let's look at Unit 5 of your pupils' book, page 56, Activity 10. Let's read the activity together, shall we? Study the following pie chart. It shows the percentage of time spent on different activities by a grade 11 student. Write a description about the chart. The phrases given may help you. When you get a question like this, the first thing that you need to do is read the question carefully and then pull out the key phrases in your question. To begin with, you are asked to study the pie chart, which means you have to analyze it. We are also asked to look at the percentages of different activities. And finally, you are asked to write a description and in the activity, certain phrases have been given to help you write it. So don't worry. Let's read the phrases that they have given. Lowest percentage. Highest percentage. Equal amount of. More time less time. Now let's attempt writing a description of this pie chart. You can start with explaining what the pie chart shows us, the reader. The given pie chart shows the percentage of time spent on different activities by a grade 11 student. If you've noticed, I have simply taken that phrase from the description given. Let's continue to describe our pie chart. This student spends most of his or her time studying. Or you can say, the highest percentage is for studying, which is 34%. According to the chart, the least amount of time that is spent by this student is to relax. He, she spends only 4% relaxing. The student spends an equal number of time eating and traveling and spends a considerable amount of time sleeping. He or she spends 17% of his or her time at classes. Now I haven't used most of the phrases that they have given, but you can easily form sentences using them and clump them together. For instance, the lowest percentage of time is spent relaxing. The highest percentage of time is spent studying. An equal amount of time is spent on eating and traveling. More time is spent on classes than on relaxing. Less time is spent on classes than on studying. You can check your workbook for similar activities. Let's turn to Unit 5 in your workbook, page 55, Activity 5. China Internet Watch reveals the time spent on internet by users in 2013 in a pie chart as follows. Study it and write a description. Look at on what the internet has been used. Online videos, social network, search, e-commerce, news, games, entertainment, financial service, email, web portal and other. You can write your answer using the same phrases that we used in the previous description that we wrote together. Now let's look at Unit 8 in your workbook, page 98, revision question 14. You have been given a bar chart. They have also given you some phrases that you can use when describing this chart. Let's read it together. The following chart shows the popular forms of entertainment among a set of 16-year-old students. Study the chart and write a description about it. You can start your answer by writing The following graph represents 
You can also use the phrases that they have given to help you write your description. Horizontally, vertically, majority, minority, the most or least popular, the highest or lowest number. Paper 2, test 14, and this question carries 10 marks, so let's get this right. The following pie chart shows how Mr. Pereira spent his salary in the month of July 2019 on various household needs. Study it and write a description about it. Use about 100 words. Use the following words in your description. Highest percentage, lowest percentage, more than, less than, equal. Briefly looking at the pie chart, you would notice that Mr. Pereira has spent most of his salary on food. So you can say the highest percentage of his salary was spent on food. Additionally, he has spent on clothes, transport, education and electricity. He has spent a significant amount of his salary on education. An equal percentage of his salary has been set aside for savings and clothes. More than half of his salary has been spent on food, education and clothes. I'm sure you can attempt this question on your own now. Thank you for watching our lesson. If you found this lesson useful and you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.